Hello, this is Richard, aka Pond Guru, with an update of my recent metal detecting finds. We'll start with the pre decimal stuff in poor condition. Uh, pre decimal pennies ranging from the 1800s up to the mid 60s. A few Georgian pennies and half pennies, and a tub full of general rubbish half pennies, farthings, all sorts of stuff. All in pretty poor condition. I've given some of it a quick scrub with a scrubby brush. If it doesn't look like it's going to be suitable for me display case, it just goes in the pot. I would say in there, in about, I don't know, three or four weeks, there's probably 120, 130 coins maybe. Not in very good nick. But it's nice to find some older coins. With modern coins, um, I'm not going to get all these coins out because everybody knows what the current currency looks like. One pences, two pences, fives, tens, twenties, pounds, all of that lot. But that's quite a heavy pot. And I'll probably take it up to the supermarket and weigh it in in one of the cash machines. So I would reckon this probably is... 25, 30 quid there or something, or thereabouts in the last three or four weeks. This is where it starts to get semi-interesting, if you're interested in metal detecting. Um, I found a National Fire Service button, dating from the Second World War, which is in Great Nick. Also, a miniature cannon, which dates from Georgian to Victorian times. Uh, apparently these used to sit on a little carriage with wheels on and everything and they could actually be fired. Uh, most of the lads in the Metal Detecting Club haven't found them in such good condition and so large. Many of them have found them but they've had the barrel blown out or the backs blown out where they've packed too much charge in or packed the little ball in too tight and the things just exploded. And apparently children used to fire these <laughs> in the days before health and safety. A really old thing, possibly old thing, that I found at a local park is that. Which seems to have a medieval design on. The lads in the club thought it was maybe off a horse's bridle or something similar. But nobody was really sure. It looks pretty old. It's reasonably interesting. We also found some lead tokens in the local fields. These were given to the workforce in the days when everybody seemed to be addicted to cider and beer. Every day, people in working in the fields would go to the local landowner, um, put the hand out, he'd give them a token. End of the week, they'd exchange the tokens for money. That would ensure that they didn't just get mortal and lie around in the fields all week. These are the finds that are, you know, actually very old or worth something. There's a James, what the hell is it? James the Sixth Scottish hammered two pence. It's in pretty poor condition. You might just be able to make out the two little dots near the lion's tail. It dates from about well, early 1600s. It's hammered copper, so it's it's not in very good condition. Um, there's an 1816 George the Third silver sixpence. Queen Victoria. 1898 three pence George V silver sixpence 1930 George the sixth three pence 1939 it's reasonably valuable that one probably is about 20 quid a Victorian sixpence 1893 and a George V sixpence which is 1819 sorry 1919 and last but not least there's a perfect condition one shilling George V silver coin from 1915 that's probably the one I'm most pleased with because you'd think that one had just been pressed Absolutely perfect. 
there'll be a picture following this of all the best finds. Before I go, there is actually some other stuff which was on the next tray down in my uh, coin case, which I forgot about. I don't know how I forgot about it, because it's probably the best things I've found. <laughs> but uh, there's a 1945 two shillings. Again, perfect condition. There's a George V florin from 19... 1929. Again, another very nice coin and there's a George V half crown which is you know a pretty big coin nice condition all the silver coins have been cleaned with a toothbrush um, and given a rub with silvo just to shine them up I know it reduces the value but I've got no intention of selling them makes them nicer to look at that's definitely it, I think. That's all I found, apart from loads of crap which I've thrown straight in the bin. Um, thanks for watching. See you next time.